Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Christina and I am a reseller on the Poshmark and Etsy apps. You can find me on Instagram at little.black.hanger. You can also find me on Poshmark at littleblackhanger without the vowels. And you can find me on Etsy at Altera Vita Vintage. That will all be linked down in the description below. Today, we are just gonna do a fun little thrift haul. Um, I like doing these. I am cleaning out my closet currently. So some of this stuff, this pile of stuff is from the vlog that I did on Friday where you guys saw me go to the thrift store. If you haven't seen that video already, I'll link it down below. Um, and then this stuff right here is some stuff that I purged from my personal closet, switching up my style for the spring and summer. I do have one thing that I got um, for Etsy, actually I bought two things, but one of them already sold, um, before this video. So I'll show that at the end. I am going to Goodwill this afternoon to get some pieces for Etsy for this week. So let me know down in the comments below if you guys would like to see an extra video this week where I haul that stuff. Etsy has been going very well for those of you wondering. Um, I'm really excited and I have been really blessed. You guys have been on top of it. Like as soon as I post something, it sells within five minutes. And I'm like, I can't keep the store stocked at all. So if you go on my Etsy page and you're wondering like why I only have like three or four things up right now it's because I can't keep up with the listings which is amazing I'm not complaining at all I think that's awesome um, but just in case you're wondering like why I only have a few listings up that's why. Um, so if you want to stay updated on the stuff that goes in my Etsy shop so that you can grab it before somebody else does, um, you can follow me on Instagram at little.black.hanger. I do post in my stories about stuff that's going into my Etsy shop. And then I do have a separate account for the shop itself where I post um, when new things come as well. And that is at Altera Vita Vintage. So I'm done with the self promos, I promise. Let's get into the haul. So I'm going to start with a couple pieces that I may or may not be keeping for myself. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> if you've been here for a while, you know that I'm not typically a dress wearer, but I wore one for my birthday dinner, insert picture here, and I actually really loved it. And I was like, why don't I wear dresses more? Because, I mean, you could just throw some like yoga shorts under it and then call it a day. You know what I mean? And then your whole outfit is together. So I've been diving into trying on dresses and trying to get more like into dresses. So I got a couple dresses. Um, <laughs> so this first one is this really cool uh, button front dress and it's got pockets. It kind of looks like a linen material. But it feels like a cotton, uh, but I just thought the buttons were really cute. It's very like airy, very summery. You could stick some sandals with it and just be done like a wicker bag with it. Oh, I just, I'm obsessed with it. It's really cute. Um, I haven't decided if I love it on me yet. So this may or may not be on Poshmark once I decide if I love it or not. Um, it is by Zara. As with all my hauls, if you see something that you like, let me know down in the comments below and I will get it listed for you and I will tag you in the listing once it is up. So this next piece is a dress that I posted on my Instagram stories yesterday and asked you what you saw this print as. And I see coffee beans, um, and but I also see animal print, like a cheetah print. Um, so yeah, it was about 50-50. Some of you saw coffee beans and some of you saw animal print. I just think it's cool to like kind of debate whether or not like what the pattern actually is. Somebody said animal tracks, like hooves, you know? And I thought that was funny. So um, yeah, it was cool to talk about this dress. It's a vintage and tailor dress. It's a size two. Um, it doesn't, it fits very odd. I want to keep this dress and I love it. Um, but if I keep it, it's going to like be unbuttoned and I'll wear it like almost as a kimono uh, because it's very odd shaped. It's bigger up here than it is here. Like, or maybe my hips are just big. Uh, Cause this, we got a lot of gapping in the bottom. Like, I don't know who this is shaped for. Um, I j maybe I should just stop trying to act like I'm, st I'm still a size two because I'm not, I'm definitely like a four, six especially in the hip area. So I will probably hold on to this for a little bit and wear it as a kimono and then put it up on posh. So that's that. 
Um, but it's really cool. It's like a 90s style button front dress, little mini dress, and I think it's really cute. I just love the print. This next piece, I was actually, I had the intention of keeping it for myself, but once I got it on, I didn't love the color on myself. I love the style of the shirt. I just don't love the color necessarily on me. I'm not a huge like orange fan typically, um, but it's just this little like tie shoulder tank top. It's by A New Day, which is sold at Target, but it is new with tags. I don't think this tie is real and I'm scared to untie it because I will never be able to make it look like that again so I'm not gonna untie it but <laughs> it's just this cute little slightly cropped tank it's not like a crop top but it's just not long if that makes sense but anyways I just really love this little these little tie details and it has this striping where it's like striped stripes so cool and those are black and white so that is that if you are interested it is a size medium next up is this bag this little tote bag and it is not super like heavy duty like these straps are kind of thin um so you couldn't put like a ton of stuff like I wouldn't put books or like not that anyone's putting books uh, maybe they are <laughs> I wouldn't put like books or like a laptop in here this would just be like a cute little beach tote to like put your sunglasses, maybe a little towel in. Um, I'm just giving that forewarning just so somebody doesn't buy it and say that it's flimsy. Um, <laughs> but I just love the pattern on it. It's in perfect condition. Doesn't look like it's been used at all. And yeah, I just really love it. Like I said, this could be just a cute little tote. Put your sunglasses, your keys, your wallet in, you know carry around town this summer. All right, next up is a Lululemon Swiftly tee. It's a gray tee. Here is the logo, the Lululemon symbol. It is a size six. And just in case you're wondering if you ever find this style, this is called the Swiftly tee. And the size is on the little like band right here at the bottom of the shirt just in case you're wondering. Next piece is this Pink Floyd t-shirt. It's got this lace up detail on the front. This is what it looks like. Um, it doesn't have a size tag in it. Why does this always happen to me? <laughs> oh, sweet mother of- This was originally from Forever 21. It doesn't have a size anywhere in it that I'm seeing, but I would assume, eh, it looks like maybe a small medium. Uh, but it's definitely like a women's fit. So yeah, it's probably a medium. Uh, but I just liked it because uh, I love banties and I love that little lace up kind of detail. So next piece is another new with tags item and it is this express tank top. It's got this really cute little ruffle in the front and it's got like ruching on the top of the straps. Um, and then what I really love about it is the back has these cute little buttons. I don't even know if you can see that. It's like going to wash out the camera, but there we go. But it's got these cute little buttons. It's just very like uniquely shaped. I kind of, I'm kind of obsessed with it. It also has this tie that runs across like the shoulder straps and you, where you could either wear it in the back or you could wear it in the front. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know, I really like this tank top for some reason. I like the shape of it. I may try it on and I might keep it if nobody buys it. Um, <laughs> but it is a size medium in case you are wondering and it is new with tags. Next up is this graphic t-shirt. It is by Apartment 9. I don't typically pick up this brand unless it's something that's just super cute like this. This is a little like burnout material kind of swooshy tee, oversized tee, and it says weekends are for wine. It's black and silver and it's so stinking cute. This is another one of those where if somebody doesn't buy it, you guys know I'm gonna keep it. It's a size large in case anybody is interested. Uh, next piece is this dress and it is by, what brand is it? gecko boutique which i'm assuming this looks like a boutique brand like down here we have little um like boutique shops um down by the beach and this looks kind of like that it's very good quality um and i love the print and the colors on it so that's why i picked it up it's a midi style dress it has like this seam right under the boobies 
um but yeah this is what it looks like i just love the pattern and the colors on it so i don't know i was going i like the vibe of it it's very nice um and then it has this kind of stretchy part in the back so it is stretchy um it is a size large all right next up is this vintage denim dress it's so singing cute it's more of like a chambray type of denim like a lightweight denim not a heavy denim it is a size medium uh this is a little bit oversized so even if you're a large it could fit it's just this button front kind of overall style dress super cute um, and then in the back it's got the crisscross straps if you can see that um yeah it's got the little crisscross straps i just think this is so stinking cute you could wear this alone or pair a little graphic tee under it i just think it's adorable and it is a midi style length last item from my thrift trip is this pair of seven for all mankind shorts they don't have the size tag in them it has been cut out so i will put the measurements on the screen now um but they are just some distressed little shorts rolled shorts they are permanently rolled that's what i was checking for um and they have a button fly super cute super cute um this is what the back looks like one last thing that I did thrift on Friday is this cute t-shirt. It's a bumblebee and it's embroidered on here and it's beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. Oh, I have always wanted a bumblebee shirt. Like I'm obsessed with bumblebees. Like especially like when they're drawn out like that. I just think it's cute. Like bumblebee sketches. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, love this shirt. Let's move on to stuff from my personal closet. Like I said, I am trying to transition into a new style for the spring and summer. I'm just feeling inspired in other ways than I was a couple months ago so i'm gonna get this stuff listed on poshmark so that other people can enjoy it so first up is this cute little striped t-shirt it is by j crew it is a size large and what i love about it is it has these cute little ties at the bottom just gives it a little extra pizzazz you know um it has a little pocket as well so that is that. It is a navy blue color, not black and white. Just putting that out there. Uh, next piece is this pair of shorts. Now I have actually never worn these shorts. I've tried them on several times, but I just don't like the way they fit me. I think they might be like slightly too big for me. Um, so I just haven't worn them, but I love them. I think they're really cool. So it's this pair of high-waisted shorts and they're a little bit longer style. So you could either wear them long or you could cuff them. That would be super cute. I just love the wash. I don't know. I think they're adorable. But like I said, they're a little bit too big on me. They're a size 10 if anybody is interested. And these are vintage, so they're definitely, they run a little smaller. I'll put the measurements on the screen um, so that you guys get an accurate um, depiction of what the size is. Next piece is a sweater and it is by Liz Claiborne. I love Liz Claiborne. Um, this is a size medium and it's just this striped neutral tone sweater and I'm, I love it, but I don't have a whole lot of need for sweaters at the moment. So in my closet it goes. It's a lightweight sweater, so it could be a good sweater for transitioning into spring. How many times can I say sweater? <laughs> All right, next piece is another Liz Claiborne piece, and this is more of a like chambray kind of material. It's a darker wash chambray with these little white polka dots. It's a little button down. I think this is the cutest freaking thing ever, um, but I just don't wear it for some reason. I don't gravitate towards it. I love it, and I know that it'll look amazing on somebody else, but it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't spark joy in me, so I'm going to use it to spark joy in someone else. Um, it is a size medium in case you are interested. Next up is this Ann Taylor kind of three-quarter sleeve sweater. It's got the layered effect with the little silky cheetah print shirt popping out the bottom of it, but really it's just one shirt. I love these. I think they're so cute. 
Um, it has this really cool crisscross detail on the back where it kind of opens up and shows that silky cheetah print material. I just think it's really pretty. Um, again, it's one of those lightweight sweaters and because it is three quarter sleeves, it would be a good transition piece for the office going into spring. This is a size medium petite. Next up is this loft shirt that I absolutely adore, but I ain't no extra small and I need to stop trying to act like I'm still an extra small. So this is gonna go off to a new home even though it breaks my heart and I love it so, so, so much. Um, like I said, it's by Ann Taylor Loft, size extra small. It's the cutest little oversized piece. It's got this beautiful, this cute little peplum ruffle at the bottom hem and also on the sleeves. It's so stinking cute. I want to keep it. I want to keep this, but it doesn't fit me properly. It is like this blush pink and like navy blue and cream color. So that's going to be up for you guys. Um, and then last but not least is this L-O-G-G -G, label of graded goods, which I believe is sold at H&M. Yes, it is an H&M brand. This is a size US 8. Um, and it's super, super cute. It's got this little like ruffle sleeve. It's kind of like a muscle tank style almost, but it's got the little ruffle sleeve. It's got the collar and then this like crisscross, this wrap V-neck style neckline. This is another one of those pieces that I love, but I just don't gravitate towards. It's super cute on um, and nothing is wrong with it. I just don't gravitate towards it as much as I would like to. So in the Poshmark closet, it goes. <laughs> um, and I do have a little piece that I picked up for Etsy. This is an amber bottle. I just think it's really cute. Little vase with a little one stem, like sprig of something in your kitchen or your bathroom. Like you could put some eucalyptus in it. Oh, that would be so cute. Um, I'm obsessed with this. So this will be up on Etsy either today or tomorrow. All right, so as you guys know, I like to end every video with an inspirational quote that one of you guys sends me. All you have to do to participate in this is leave a comment down below with an inspirational quote and your Poshmark closet name so that I can tag you in the video that you are featured in. Today's quote comes from Tori at Girly Girl Style and she says so proud and excited for you thank you sweet friend and she says a flower does not think of competing with the flower next to it it just blooms I love that that is so good thank you for sharing that with us um, her closet name is girly girl style I will link it down below she also has a YouTube channel so if you aren't subscribed to her go subscribe to her she's an amazing reseller and she has such a heart of gold she's honestly one of my favorites um, so go check her out. I will leave her Poshmark closet link down below as well as her YouTube. So go show her some love over on both. And that's going to be all for me today, guys. If you like this video, please be sure and give it a thumbs up on your way out. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join our little family here. We would love to have you. We are 9,000 strong. So we are on our way to 10,000 and I am so excited. So thank you to everyone who has already subscribed. And if, like I said, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I put new videos out every Tuesday and Friday and I will see you guys on Friday unless you want an extra video then I'll see you on Wednesday or Thursday. Bye guys!